the Glock 42 and 380. Hey there, Maniacs viewers. Hey there, Maniacs viewers. You're watching the Money Man channel. Damn it. Hey there, Maniacs viewers. You're watching the Money Man channel. Not just the name, it's the way of life. You got to improvise, adapt, and overcome. Each and every day, just to make it in this cruel old world. Appreciate y'all watching. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Check me out on all my social media. Links will be in the description. Sign up for the Glock 19 giveaway and sign up for whatever month knife giveaway is going on. That being said, I already showed it to you a little bit. We're doing the uh, initial tabletop review and first look at the Glock 42. This is a used Glock 42 pistol. And uh, I brought a couple of pistol, other pistols out for size comparison. Okay. So I brought another 380 pistol I own, which is the Taurus TCP. I carry this pretty common, and you'll see that. You'll see why that's for a minute. All right, it is a little bit bigger and a little bit thicker and just a little bit taller than the Taurus TCP. Not that big of a difference, actually. People say that the uh, Glock 42 380 is pretty bulky for a pocket gun. Well, it's not that much bigger than the Taurus TCP. And the reason I uh, this Taurus TCP is important, when I got athletic shorts on like right now, it's a good little carry gun that don't weigh down your uh, athletic shorts. And uh, maybe this will be too. Who knows? And I've also brought out the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield Plus, and we're just taking a look at it for comparison because I carry this quite commonly. All right, and it is, the Shield Plus is quite a bit taller, a hair longer, not too much, but again, of course, this is a double stack 9 millimeter. I carry this all the time in the pocket in a uh, sticky holster. So, no reason this couldn't be considered a good little pocket pistol. And uh, why would I buy this? Well, why would I buy the Glock 42 uh, 380? Is because I collect Glocks. And when I can get one for a good deal, I go with it. So, that being said, it is a. Uh, it was a. Uh, 380 out the door uh, for a used 380. <laughs> so I didn't figure it was that bad. These are right now brand new at uh, Royal King. They're going for like 430, 435, something like that. I also got my Glock 19 Gen 5, which I carry it a lot of times, uh, but I carry it in a uh, uh, inside the waistband four o'clock poster, four o'clock inside the waistband. You can tell there's a considerable about a difference in size between these two. <laughs> yep, that is definitely a baby Glock compared to the Glock 19. And the Glock 19 is considered Glock's mid-size. So like I said, we just brought those two for comparison. And uh, we're going to take a look at this thing. Uh, it's got a single stack, or you might even call it a stagger stack, uh, from the way it looks, six round magazine. So that gives you a capacity of uh, seven rounds. And then if you got an extra magazine, I'll give you another capacity. I'll give you a six round extra magazine. It only came with one magazine. It didn't came with a case or anything like that. That was the one drawback about it. But I did get it used. And uh, I don't figure an extra mag is going to cost me that much. But six rounds of 380 still ain't nothing to joke about. Uh, same thing as my TCP, six round magazines of 380. So, it is what it is. Now, that being said, uh, firearm is clear. Racking a few times. I showed you that magazine was empty. Y'all can take a look. Nothing in the chamber. Uh, 
the trigger pull on it. Trigger pull on this thing, it seems to be quite a bit heavier than uh, most of my other Glocks. But I still, I'm not going to measure it because I still say it's in the five, six pound range. Uh, reset on it. Let's check the reset on it. Right there. And, you know, pretty audible. Pretty short reset. One more time. Yeah. But, uh, came with the uh, traditional Glock sights, the kind of go post sights, front dot, and then the go post rear. And, uh, breaks down like any other Glock. So we'll go ahead and break it down. So we'll rack it, we'll fire. Pull back just a little bit, pull the takedown levers down on it, and we'll slide it forward. And she comes off just like any other Glock. Not sure what gen it is, but this, uh, the uh, frame is very, very light. Polymer frame is very, very light. After that slides off there, and you see basically your Glock components. Push down for your recoil spring, and just slide it right up. Lift up on your barrel, slide it down, slide it right out. Now this gun doesn't look like it's been fired that much. It is a little dirty, and I probably will clean it first time before I shoot it because it is a used firearm. But it looks like it's still got that red factory grease in it. You know that red, rusty looking factory grease that the Glocks have in them? So I dare say that whoever had this probably didn't shoot it that much and they just used it as a little carrier or a backup now. But who knows? And if they did shoot the shit out of it, uh, nothing wrong with that, of course, because uh, it's a Glock. So it should be all right for like 90 million rounds. But anyway, this assembly is reverse. You just take the barrel, slide it down in your hole. Got to angle it so it goes down your barrel hole. Then pull back on it. Hold it right there. Take your recoil spring. That big end goes down. You just line it up and you push down until it goes right in. All right. And once it catches there, it's going to be straight and holds in. Line up your rails, line these up with your rails right here, slide it right in, and let get it lined up exactly. This one, you got to take a little bit more care lining it up for some reason. I guess it's smaller. Get it on there, rack it a few times, check function. She good to go. Uh, magazine drops out pretty good. Uh, See if we can get to it easy. Yeah, that's one problem. Okay, so you really got to move your hand out of the way to uh, get that knife out. So you really, really got to get them fingers off there. I'm getting a good two finger grip on it. It seems like my third one is going under it. So I don't think it's going to be that hard to shoot. Uh, Probably will be a little snappy because it is very light. Uh, yeah, it's just another, basically another Glock for my collection, y'all. Uh, they got to get another magazine for it at least. Maybe get a couple more. Depends on how much I want to shoot it. Uh, I'll probably use this as a carry option. Uh, I think it'd be even all right for athletic shorts. Uh, if it runs good and everything, and uh, it's just, basically though, it's just another Glock for my collection. So eventually, because uh, you can get them on Amazon, you can get the Glock boxes for them and everything. Eventually, I'll get everything back with it, get it back in order, and uh, get all the accessories for it that I need and everything. But uh, it doesn't have a rail for any kind of a uh, laser or light on it. I did notice that. And like I say, I'm not sure which uh, which gen this is, but uh, I think it'll be just fine.
for a little carryable 380 and a, just a good addition to my collection. And, uh, yeah, I seem to like it. And uh, if you find a good deal on one, I, I mean, you know, if you want a Glock that's in 380, get it. That's the caliber. That's one caliber I didn't have a Glock in. I've got a Glock in a 45 ACP, 357 SIG, 40 Smith & Wesson, 9 millimeter, and a 22 LR. Didn't have one in 380? Now I do. But anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching the Main Man channel. I apologize for the mess. Still getting the office straightened out. Uh, still trying to figure out the lighting situation in here. It's not been too good. Uh, my whiteboard's hard to read, and I'm not liking that. But it is what it is right now. And uh, we'll get it all straightened out, get everything situated. You notice my desk is shaking, but uh, uh, we're going to brace that desk a little bit more and make sure it don't shake anymore. But I do got the camera on a uh, stand back here. It is crooked right now, but I got it on the stand back here so you won't hear a lot of that, uh, all that rattling and shaking and stuff like that. But anyway, just a little quick tabletop review and first look at the Glock 42 380 ACP. And as always, thank y'all for watching the main man channel. Please like, share, subscribe. Check me out on Parlor, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Oostube, Gushroom, Guntube, Gab, Getter. Appreciate all the support there. If you feel called to, check me out on Patreon. I can always use the help there. Sign up for whatever uh, knife giveaway there is. And sign up for the uh, 5,000 subscriber giveaway. And sign up for the Glock 19 giveaway. I love y'all. Y'all the best people in the world. God bless you. I'll catch you next time.